Yeah, hello everybody, this is George Ponder for WPCentral.com. Got a uh, video overview of the T-Mobile Nokia Lumia 521. Now it's a, a budget, or should we say entry-level Windows phone. I, I'd more lean toward budget. It's kind of a scaled-back Windows phone from what we, what we see with like the 920, the 928. The higher-end Windows phone. It's running about 150 bucks over at T-Mobile. It's scaled back with some features to cut down the cost, but Nokia did a good job balancing what they cut out while maintaining a quality Windows phone. Now, just looking around the phone itself, you've got a 4-inch super sensitive screen. It's not AMOLED. It's just a regular old LCD. Looks real nice indoors. Outside, the only trouble we had was with the really bright direct sunlight. It kind of washed the screen out a little. You could still make things out, but it's, it is what it is. Up top, you've got your headphone jack. Down the right side, you have your volume keys, power button, camera button. Down below, you've got your micro USB port. The left side is bare. On the back, you've got a 5 megapixel camera, no light, and no front-facing camera. Now the 5 megapixel camera, it's a 28 millimeter lens f2.4, so it's a, not exactly going to be the brightest performer. When light is good, the camera really shines. It's a nice, sharp camera. Pictures did have a little bit of a color cast, but nothing really detrimental to the image. Video shoots 720p. Video quality is rather nice. Again, super sensitive screen, nice responsiveness, colors are rich, has a little pop to it. As far as storage space goes, you've got 512 megabytes of RAM and 8 gigabytes of storage. A little bit on the low side, so you're going to have to manage your apps and songs and videos and all that fun stuff a little bit more carefully. Take advantage of your cloud storage, SkyDrive, 7 gigs on top of that. The 521 also has a micro SD card expansion slot, so you can expand your memory that way. And to get to the, SD, uh, the micro SD card slot, all you got to do is pry the battery cover off. Here's your SIM card and your expansion card slot. Everything's powered by a 1430 battery, makes it through the day easily. You've got a 1 gigahertz dual core processor. Quit. That powers everything, and everything moves along fairly nicely. You do have preloaded software. You've got 411 and more. That's a directory assistance that'll cost you money. Then you have free weather, horoscopes, and sports reports. You've got T Mobile Movies, your T Mobile account. You've got all the Nokia. Software is the Here Suite, all your mapping programs, Nokia Music. You've got Caller Tunes, the Weather Channel, Slacker Radio, and you also have the Wi Fi Calling, which we showcased a couple of days ago. All in all, the Nokia Lumia 521 is a nice budget oriented Windows phone. It's not going to have all the bells and whistles, but it's not designed to have all the bells and whistles. It's designed to give consumers a low-cost option for someone who wants to just stick their toes in the Windows Phone market, or maybe if you've got a teenager that's prone to losing things or breaking things, and you don't want to invest that much. It's a nice quality phone. It's available through T-Mobile, running about $150 through T-Mobile. But if you shop around, like with Walmart and MSN.com, you can probably snag one for about $130. Again, nice phone. It is what it is, budget-oriented, but it's a quality Windows Phone 8 device. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.